Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, uh, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channels, please subscribe. I would love for you to do so and a big welcome and thumbs up and thank you for doing so. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK exciting facts. So I'm going to fire away with uh, number one, which is the Telegraph UK. Flooding latest. Uh, travel chaos with uh, 300 flood warnings across England hundreds of flood warnings remain in place and commuters face a travel disruption um, at, from today Friday after heavy downpours um, submerged roads so um, again um, again if there's another way of getting to your destination um, another route um, if you're driving then uh, you'd probably be better to take the other route and well I hope it gets better but it's what you expect this time of year anyway uh, very heavy rain and floods Anyway, number two, business travel at News Europe, the UK, to trial a new facial recognition technology. Wow, th uh, this sounds really exciting. The uh, UK Border Force is considering trials of a facial recognition technology at airports later this year. Um, number three, um, plans to remove uh, the need to show uh, passports to enter the UK unveiled uh, plans for frictionless travel will um, will be arriving in the UK and uh, you will not need to present um, passports at the border according to um, a report um, the new e-gate um, is capable of allowing arrivals into the country uh, using only advanced facial recognition uh, will be installed at airports so that's really good news so uh, you you just walk up to the e-gate and then you just get facial recognition and then I presume it just lets you through and it's a lot quicker than and easier than relying on people getting their, their passports out and uh, the security uh, checking them and number four Sky News at uh, Tube Strikes at uh, full list of of dates in uh, January 2024 and um, how London underground trains are affected industrial action on uh, the 5th of January uh, but the impact won't be uh, felt until Sunday this Sunday when services um, have wound down so Sunday the 7th of January tube journeys uh, by 5:30 p.m. as services uh, will end earlier than than normal so they will end by 5:30 p.m. and um, again um you will have to travel a different method um to get to your destination after 5:30 p.m. Um, Monday the 8th of January service disruption is expected with little to no service expected to run on the underground the Elizabeth line uh, London overground and DLR services 
uh, may uh, suffer possible station closures, disruption to services and uh, Tuesday the 9th of January the, uh, the same as Monday and Wednesday the 10th of January again the same as Monday and Thursday the 11th of January again is the same as mo at Monday severe disruption is expected with little to no services expected to run on the underground the Elizabeth line London overground and DLR may suffer possible station closures and disruptions uh, to some services on friday um it does get it get be better there are strikes on friday but the two services are starting later due to previous in industrial action regular services and expected to um, have resumed by midday and um, so not very many services on the tube are going to um, be open before midday but on Friday the 12th of January which is next Friday it's going to be resume by normal midday uh, TFL at uh, journey planners if you look on their website um, when uh, trains are running and last but not least BBC News Storm Hank um, basically batters the UK uh, leading to power out outages and travel disruptions and flooding so that's the reason for the flooding and um, i would like to say thank you for watching and i hope everybody has as good weekend as possible and um, i will uh, see you uh, tomorrow um, for another budget travel special so please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye